None of them had ever acted before. Others helped with production, but all bought their own stories. Man, I didn't mean to, did I? It was one punch. If it wasn't him, it would have been us. The group wanted to show what it can feel like growing up in London, where things sometimes can be tough. Jasmine. I'm not helping you. I'm helping Riley. Just, just go, and whatever you do, don't call me. Filmmakers approached the friends who had all grown up on the Islington estate, asking them to come up with ideas, a storyline and themes for the film. The transition what I've seen from the very beginning to how they are now, their aspirations are high, their mindset's changing, they want to achieve more in life, they see more to life than just the area and what it is. These type of projects allow our young people to express themselves in ways which they've never really done before. Do you promise you're going to sort things out? It took 12 right? months to make, I'm but in that. two weeks, the 30-minute film had more than a million views on YouTube. It was the first time for me, it was the first time for pretty much everyone in making a film. None of us had done that before. It was a big opportunity and everyone involved made the most of it. <laughs> Ashley Walters from the BBC's crime drama Top Boy and Percy Lascott from Netflix's Innocence also took part in the drama that wanted to highlight the challenges with those who understood them most. The young people on the estate, they were frustrated by documentaries that they would see that often doesn't deal with the gang, gang culture in the right way. It doesn't show any positive solutions or ways um, out of it. The production was then screened in central London. Um, this project is very important to me because it was set on the estate that I grew up on. And after, there was a very clear message to others growing up on estates. Listen, it doesn't matter what you came from, it doesn't matter what your background was, you can still make it out. I've been through everything, so anybody can do it. I don't want to hear no excuses from anyone. Frankie McCamley, BBC London News.